Like someone pointed out earlier, you were so sincere and appreciative of my ministry to you that you would have been willing, if possible, to pull out your eyes and give them to me. That's the relationship that they had. He <clears throat> says, I haven't become your enemy because I keep reminding you of the things that I preached to you when I was there. I haven't become your enemy. So all the joy that they had experienced as the Holy Spirit empowered Paul to present the gospel to the point that they visually could see Jesus crucified. That, that, that's power, isn't it? Mm -hmm. To be able to see Jesus crucified. Mm -hmm. That's what we learned as we studied Galatians chapter uh, 2 and 3. But now their expressions of joy are gone. What's happening? Bickering, strife. What happens when dogs are hungry? They fight for food, try to kill each other. What happens when Christians are not spiritually fed? They go and start up an independent ministry, of which we have in the double digits. Is it time for us to feed people from here? Yes. Do you believe that this is inspired? Amen. This thing of finishing the work and righteousness by faith, folks, is a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. This is not a program. Amen. This is a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. Yes. And when people see Jesus reproducing His character in you, they're going to ask you questions. Because it doesn't matter what kind of a facade people put in their face. Everyone is struggling with a major issue. <coughs> Everyone. You don't have to wonder about it. That's why when I meet a stranger, I say, how you doing? Are you having a good day? And they say, well, sort of. If they say yes, I say, praise God. Oh, you're a Christian. Yeah. If they say, not really, I say, well, do you believe in God? In other words, I believe in prayer. Would you like to submit this to God in prayer? Really? How difficult is that? How difficult is that? To show someone that you have no special agenda for being friendly. Most people have an agenda. And that's why people are reluctant to let you get close to them. Just a thought. Any comments on what we've covered today? Just so we got it clear that when we believe in Christ in power of the gospel, he is the gospel, we will the works problem. Uh, being sensitive to the law of God and witnessing for Him, doing just what you said, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not only not a problem, but it's something that we're going to do naturally. Remember what Jesus said in Matthew 25, 34 to 39? When I was what? In jail, naked, hungry, thirsty, you ministered to me. And they say, what? What, what did we ever see you in that condition? And what did Jesus say? Whenever you saw that need in someone, you ministered to it, you were doing it for whom? What's the difference? What's the opposite of that? Matthew 7, 21, 22, and 23. Jesus is coming down. This is a parable. And he's now taking people home with him to heaven. And one person says, whoa, hold it. You can't go up there without me. And they pull out their list of all the things that they've been doing. And what does Jesus say to that person? Who are you? I've never seen you before. So the moment that you are conscious about every nice little thing that you're doing, you make a list of it, and want to maybe brag about it, be very, very careful. Be very, very careful what's your motivation. Okay? Let's have prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for answering our request to meet with us in the Holy Spirit. We pray that we will understand the difference between who are the heirs and how to become an heir. Help us to understand that and experience it. We ask this request and thank you for answering it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.